Congress Committee. I have met leaders of the Andhra Pradesh Congress Committee, those from the Telangana region and also from the Sima Andhra region. And all of them had said that although we have very strong views on the bifurcation of the state, we would abide by the decision of the Congress High Command. We would also that there was a near consensus of each political party in Andhra Pradesh who had agreed for us bifurcation of the state and the creation of the state of Telangana. Unfortunately, Congress party, which was the last political party to agree for bifurcation of the state, once it took a decision in the Congress Working Committee, TDP and YSR Congress reversed their stand, which unnecessarily created a situation that there was no consensus for the bifurcation of the state. The Congress party is committed to the decision of the Congress Working Committee <coughs> Congress Working Committee and it has drafted the bill the government of India, the UPA government has drafted the bill which which is now before the assembly. <coughs> now the bill has been received by the Andhra Pradesh Assembly and most probably the Business Advisory Committee will consider in its meeting on Monday.
all other issues for the development of the each of the successor state are protected. The government of India shall take into consideration on all issues which would result arising of the bifurcation of the state. I would like to assure the people of Sema Andhra and Telangana, the government employees of Sema Andhra and Telangana Academics of Sima Andhra and Telangana, the students of both regions and other interested groups that the government of India is committed to ensure to the Congress Committee. I have met leaders. ensure that such premier institutions also are set up in the Sema Andhra region. The government of India has also proposed tax concessions for its investment in the back backward regions of Telangana and Sima Andhra. The government of India is also committed for the construction of Pulavaram Dam as a national project totally funded by government of India. The issue of rehabilitation and resettlement of the submerged villages shall be appropriately dealt with. Through dialogue between the two successor states and government of India, the operational part of the existing irrigation systems of Godavari and Krishna shall be monitored by an agency where there is rep representation from the states concerned. I would also like to assure all people living in Hyderabad that their property, their jobs, employment are fully guaranteed and no discrimination whatsoever would take place because every Indian has a constitutional right to own property, to do business, and get employment in every part of this country. I would urge upon all political parties not to give any statements which may unnecessarily create doubts among the people and allow 
this bifurcation of the state of Andhra Pradesh to take place without much of acrimony and friction. The Congress party has also decided to have a campaign program for the next three months by the Andhra Pradesh Congress Committee. There would be Congress workers convention in assembly, every assembly segment before 31st of January 2014. All active members, elected representatives of local bodies, local Congress MLA, MLCs, ex-MLAs, ex-MPs and heads of the frontal organization, cells and departments of that assembly constituency will be the participants. The DCC president will be the convener of organizational committee with the in-charge minister and in-charge office bearer of the PCC. DCC president will coordinate with all chiefs of frontal organizations, sales and departments at the DCC level. There will be public rallies at the parliamentary constituency level. The PCC president, chief minister, deputy chief minister and other eight important leaders of the party will be in the organizing committee with president APCC as convener. Central leaders and central ministers would be invited to address the public rally. Congress president shall also and vice president shall also address public rallies in the next two months. We shall also have district level, district and state level conventions of frontal organizations and cells and departments and the Congress uh, APCC president shall coordinate with all concerned frontal organizations and cells and departments to hold these public rallies, state level conventions and district level conventions by 31st January 2014. I'd be very happy to respond to any questions. One, one second. I'll give you, I'm not running away. Everyone will be free to ask questions and I will, I will, I will not go until you are all fed up of me. <laughs> yes.